Hi, I'm Melissa and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk a little bit about what trauma-informed spirituality means to me. I wanted to make this channel and have it be um, partially to do with my being a psychologist and understanding the nervous system and the brain and the emotions and how those all work, but also from a spiritual perspective where we can activate some like almost magic because you know, in the spirit world, so many unexplainable things happen. And I think that we can blend those two things together, the science of psychology, but also the spirituality and magic and mysticism of spirituality. And so how does that look? I think that the missing piece in the manifesting community sometimes can be pushing and forcing people into feeling like they should be able to affirm their way out of psychological pain, affirm their way out of um, prior traumas, um, visualize their way out of prior traumas. And sometimes this can be done, but also sometimes it can't. And so what does it mean to be trauma informed? Well, to me, what that means is that when we're talking about manifesting techniques, that we don't expect that everybody can do them wherever they're at. Rather, trying techniques, and if they work for you, that's great, but if they don't work for you, taking that as an indicator and a clue that there's probably something deeper going on. And if something deeper is going on, moving into it and learning what to do about it. So from the way I personally work with my clients is from an internal family systems approach, which is going in um, through the somatic body and actually feeling the physical sensations that are coming up with different emotions. Also an attachment based perspective and looking at how early attachment figures, early attachment patterns are playing a role in how we are attaching to ourselves now and how we are attaching to others now. Also the polyvagal theory, and that's looking at how the nervous system is impacted by things like depression, anxiety, PTSD. And so these things cannot be just manifested away. Well, actually, that's not entirely true. They actually can be manifested away. You can, you know, um, in your imagination, go into a timeline where you're healed. You can. But what is going to get you into that timeline is probably going to be some trauma processing, emotion processing, and doing the emotional work that is required to heal from things. In the same way that if you break your arm, you can't just like have like this broken kind of floppy arm and manifest it into being healed. You can certainly manifest it into being healed and imagine what it's going to look like when it is healed. Um, but what's going to get it healed is uh, going to the hospital, getting a cast, and basically getting it healed in the proper human 3D way. If you have advanced spirituality and can do miracles like Jesus and Buddha and all of those advanced spiritual people, that's amazing. Please contact me. I'd love to chat. <laughs> um, but most of us, we're going to need to get a cast and we're going to need to do the whole six week healing or whatever it takes. I've never had a broken bone, but I think it's six weeks or something. But anyways, um, it's the same with emotional trauma, especially attachment trauma. Oh my goodness. That is so underrated. People do not understand how incredibly damaging attachment trauma is. And most people who are in the manifesting community trying to manifest a relationship, any kind of relationship, fr better friendships, better family relationships, a romantic relationship, they probably have some attachment trauma that needs to be worked on. Depending on the severity, depending on your personality structure and how you heal and the different components of who you are, you may or may not need therapy or coaching or some deeper emotional work. And that is okay. And that's what I really wanna drive home on this channel is that healing work, 
is okay. And if you can't affirm your way out of something or script your way out of something or sats your sleep, uh, state akin to sleep, <laughs> sats your way out of something, that's, that is okay. Sometimes things actually just need to be processed first. And sometimes you need help with the processing because a big part of processing traumas is having them witnessed in a non-judgmental environment. So what I mean by witnessed is um, that you're able to tell someone like a therapist who, you know, as opposed to like maybe a friend who isn't really necessarily ready to help you with that. A therapist shouldn't be telling you like trying to just say things to make you feel better. A therapist should be helping. They should almost kind of heighten the experience to a level that your nervous system can handle let you be in the experience, process the experience, process it through your physical body. So the therapist should be monitoring your breathing, how activated your nervous system is, your how quickly you're speaking, all of the things that therapists know to do when you're processing trauma. And that allows the brain to almost kind of reset the trauma, kind of like get a cast on kind of like a broken piece of your um, psychology, really. That is how we begin the process of healing. So if manifestation techniques are not working for you, please don't feel broken. Please don't feel like there's something wrong with you. There is nothing wrong with you. Everything is right with you. And the reason that manifestation techniques are not working for you is because you're trying to manifest yourself into a place that when you've been there before, it wasn't safe. And so your nervous system, your neural circuitry is kicking back, kicking back up and saying, no, no way. I don't care what kind of techniques and fancy stuff you do. I'm not going with you this way. And that is a safety measure that is protective. And that is why I say everything is right with you. If techniques are not working for you, everything is right with you. That just means you have to work a little bit in a, from a different perspective. You need to go to kind of like the brain doctor. You need to go to a psychologist or a therapist or a coach or whatever to get that healed. And then you can use uh, manifestation techniques. They work for everybody, but just be gentle with yourself when, when doing these things. And if they're not working, no worries. They can and will work for you if you do a little bit of different healing recovery work first. So I hope this video helped. I hope it motivated you and hope maybe inspired you to get help if you need help and yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.